Namaste, my name is Aditi Sharma and welcome to Physics Kira. Many of you wanted me to talk about that how can you get into the research line or how can you study about it in detail, so here it is. So this video will actually tell you that what are the skills required, how can you groom your skills and which path you should follow, also the various job opportunities which are available into the field, so watch the video till end. For now we begin with a glimpse of three areas of study which are mostly associated with whenever it comes to research. Firstly, let's talk about what is astronomy. So, astronomy is a natural science and it includes the study of the origin and the evolution of various celestial bodies like the stars, planets, galaxies, etc. Now, there is this one more term called astrophysics which most of you think is another name for astronomy but it is not. Astrophysics includes the study of the universe, its birth, life and death using the laws of chemistry and physics. Now, my most favorite field where I work at and I'm more detail oriented towards that is cosmology. But before I tell you about cosmology since we have already spoken about astronomy, so it has a wide range of specializations and if you take a look at the list that one among them is cosmology. So basically it's a branch of astronomy. Cosmology includes the study of the large components of the universe, the universe as a whole, taking from its origin to evolution to how it might end. So let me first give you a glimpse of the journey then we will get in detail of each step. No matter which out of these three you want to go for, but if you want to get into it then you must begin with your preparations from the school level as a first step. If you are in 10th standard then it's the best time to start with it. Start grooming up yourself as you don't have as such of the study load on you. I'll tell you that later in the video that how can you increase your skills. Then in 11th standard opt for PCM and if your school provides you with computer science along with the PCM then go for it as well as this was my combination too. Clear your 12th with a minimum of 70% marks and then you have got two choices, either to pursue the bachelor's or go for engineering. For the bachelor's, I would suggest you to go for physics, mathematics and computer science as your combination but if you want to go for the engineering then make sure that you manage to get any of the mechanical, electrical or the computer branch. Our country does not offer you studying the astrophysics or the cosmology at the bachelor's level but there are some universities and the research centers which provide you the master's program in it. List is coming ahead in the video. And then there is this entrance exam called JEST which stands for the Joint Entrance Screening Test which you must appear in for your PhD. When we were kids then we all had questions in our mind that where these stars came from or who is making up the things we see around and things like that but no one around us took an effort to answer these. But if as you are growing and in the same ratio these questions in your mind are also growing then trust me this is the right line for you. And don't worry Berozgar nahi rahoge there are many job opportunities into the field which I'll tell you later but talking about the skills for now you must be very strong with your core principles and the fundamentals of physics. Also you must have a very good command in mathematics that is in algebra and calculus. A hand in computer will help you through the way. You need to have scientific, inquisitive and a detail oriented mind. You must be adaptable to the long work hours as there is no time for the tea break. You must be crazily in love with and passionate towards your work. And the most important, you need to have a great degree of patience as the researchers involved demand ample of it. Now, how can you be a little ahead of the kids of your age or how can you groom your skills? So for that, I would like to list a number of things. Start reading books as much as you can. Once in a day, sit free for 15 minutes and think about what you read. Give wings to your brain. Also join such clubs and you can even go for the science camps. Also, I would suggest you to start reading the e-journals, stay updated and there are many renowned research papers which are available at several websites. Make a habit of reading it all. Now these are some colleges and the research centers. Take a screenshot as one more list is coming ahead. Yes, this one as well. Save it too. Now, let's talk about the job opportunities. So you can work at various government agencies and at the NGOs like ISRO, DRDO, ABF, VSSC. Also you can work at observatories as a research scientist, as a professor and a researcher which I personally like the most. Also you can work as a data analyst at the planetariums and at the astronomical equipment manufacturing companies. I know that our country does not have enough degree of job opportunities when we compare it with the other nations. But the speed with which we are growing in this field, this number is going to increase very soon. So let me know in the comment box below if the video was helpful for you.